All right, what is going on, my soldier gaming, my raiders, my freaking post-apocalyptic survivalists? Is our commander in chief, Warzone 157, and today I'm bringing you a new series in my Let's Play series, Mad Max. Now I'm not sure if this is portraying the prologue or the after effects of the movie Mad Max: Fury Road, or if it's just a game in of itself. But enough of me talking. We're actually going to get into it and see what it's all about. Let's get started. It is known that the world fell, and that most people in it died. The dead will not suffer the hardships of the terrible world which remains. Those born into this hell have no remembrance of anything else. Those who survived, those are the truly broken, for they know what was before. Alright, that was a sick cutscene. Alright, so now let's look about around, I say... Oh, we can't only redeem a code. I already got the Ripper. And, wouldn't you believe it, I am actually oh really oh guys give me a second all right so now i'm linked but here's the weird thing i was the only one who pre-ordered this game on xbox one at my gamestop i could not freaking believe it One such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank. Oh. 
Okay, that's that was a sick intro. But he just threw him off. So what I'm trying to figure out is he dead? And if he's not, wait a minute. Answer if you can. This setback would not stop him. He would have his peace. Oh, he made a new friend. Another war. And war was coming because he had created a mortal enemy. I still can't believe he's still alive after all that. I guess I was like, oh, you're gonna treat me like shit? No way. Oh man, we're already in the game. Wait, there's a leveling system? Oh, nice! Right now, dude, the game moves fluently. Fluently. And the graphics, the way it looks? My god, I wonder, can we actually go all the way out there? Only time will tell, right? Let's see, can he run, hold a, hold the A button down? No. Right trigger? No. Left trigger? No. I guess like, so left trigger is like a jump. Right bumpers to dodge. Huh. I got used to it. Oh, good boy. Okay, what do I do? Fill the canteen. How do I fill the canteen? Oh, man, I see. The dog has led me right so far. Gotta find it. Oh man, the dog just left me. All right, Cujo, where'd you go? No, no, no. Oh, why can't I run? You son of a bitch! Your luck of this man are you quiet gently? What? No. Thanks for eating. It's you. Oh, I was alike inside the other gives birth. So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice. Please, don't kill Chum Bucket. Please, hey. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. Yeah. That's right. And Chum Bucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. See, she's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum Bucket's not stupid. Well then, so I'm not going to make, probably not going to make this a long, long video unless you guys want me to, unless you want this to be a full uh, Let's Play series. Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy, but then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path! Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Right, what the heck is grit? Ah. Uh. 
Canned food. <laughs> sure beats eating nugget grow. Okay, now we can sprint. <laughs> oh, well, we got that man. Anything for me? Ammo. Oh, no wire. I'm sorry, I thought I heard something in the background. All right, I want to. Can I sneak? Oh, guess not. Bring it on. LB and quick fire. Oh, this is weird. Oh, it's so weird. I gotta use left bumper and I have to use B. That's so weird. I don't want to test that out because I don't want to waste any more ammunition. Let me see if he has anything. Okay, so I can't check all these people. It kind of sucks. Stop listening. Oh, dude, you are one little sick fuck, aren't you? Okay. Come on. Come here, come here, bitch. Come here. Uh uh. Who else? You wanna go? Where is he? Oh, you're right there. Oh! <laughs> ah! Come on. Nope. Not in my house. I want to. Can I search any of these people? No, but I can search and look for wire. Wire should be enough. Okay, and what do we have here? Okay, let's check the map. Let's see how big this map. Holy crap! Look how big this thing is. Oh man, is that the Thunderdome? I want to believe that's the Thunderdome. Okay. Oh, hold on. Scouting locations can contain useful items such as scrap, ammo, and food, as well as project parts and relics. To review all scavenging locations, complete survey crew projects and strongholds. Oh, that could prove useful. Okay, just let me think. I want to return the wires to Chum Bucket, but I want to keep searching. I mean, you put me in a big mass open world like this. Oh, hello. See what happens if you if I didn't explore. All right. Okay, so I can't climb up this. I thought it was too good to be true. Looks like I can't go there yet. All right, I'm gonna transition to where I get back to Chum Bucket. No, not yet. You are not ready. Why? And who the heck was that? So I realize you can run out of stamina, but it doesn't affect your health. So I think that's a plus. Oh, her name's... Oh, or his or her name is Dinky D. What are you doing? Oh. Here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not weak, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! My buggy's just over here. Follow me. Aww. 
Look at him. This way. No, his little pixelated adorableness. All right, I'll put you in here. Easy, dog. Easy. Oh, has a little compartment. That's too cool. The buggy's humble, but she can haul. Oh man, it's one of those cars that has the steering wheel on the right side. I don't know. I, I want to try wearing, try driving something like that. Sixty. I already started the game and I'm already doing tricks. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Uh, nailed it. Yes. From that lucky look point, you may be able to spot your car. We can see the camp from up there, without risk of detection. Alright, so I think it's talking about up here. Over here! Over! Come look! Over here! Yeah, see, this is where the thick brows squat and cut. Butchers. In for the nails. I wanna... Oh, yeah, look. There. Scabarous Scrotus is the king. Yeah. He's a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself. himself. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I, I don't see the land over. I'm getting my car back. Please, 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 please. I have an idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car. Bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? How tough, how fast? Very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. Huh? I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. So, iguana gonads, huh? And what are they made of? Marble? So, right now, this has been a very amazing start to this game, and it's just a freaking open world gameplay, uh, open world uh, environment. I love how it has like the post-apocalyptic traits that you have to actually go and get items for yourself, for your, I think for your compatriots as well, for your partners. And also just look around and try, you know, survive. I don't know if there's a sort of mechanic that if you're running low on water you have to find it fast otherwise you could you know die of dehydration I'm not sure I haven't played the game far enough for this but if it's something like that then I'm alright I'd be so more I'd be more blown away than I am now but if you guys want more of this series then by all means show that like button some love let me know in the comment section below and that's gonna be it for right now so thank you all for watching soldiers back in Gears of War Ultimate Edition.